What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films. Today we're gonna look at the GH5 against the Canon 6D with stills. So without looking at the file names, just look at the image, don't cheat. See if you can guess which camera is which. So we have this shot of this model looking dude against this. Just look at the image, don't look at the file name that's cheating. And then this. All right, so this is the raw files. I did a little bit of exposure just to match a little bit and I did some lens corrections. Shot with Canon 135mm f2.0. So it's pretty much bare bones. I didn't do anything else but try to match the exposures here. All right, I'm gonna reveal it. This one right here is the GH5. You can probably tell because of the 4.3. This is the Canon 6D full frame. All right, this is the GH5. And this is the Canon 6D. So now that I showed you the before, I'm gonna go ahead and edit these and um, get back with you guys and show you the results. What's up guys, so we're back, we are in Photoshop. Now I didn't do too much to these pictures because I wanted to show you guys the bare minimum. I only did some contrast and some saturation. I didn't even sharpen it so you can actually see uh, the difference between the two with minimal editing. So let's get started. Let's turn on the Challenger, which is the GH5. So I have some curves here. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna zoom in here. So these two, these two cameras are 20 megapixels a piece. So they should be fairly close when it comes to megapixels. The only difference is obviously you got a full frame sensor and you have a micro four third sensor. Now I am using a Metabone Speed Booster 0.64 XL on a GH5. So yeah, all right. Not bad, man. Um, not bad at all, in my opinion. So let's turn on the uh, 6D, Canon 6D. Hmm. Definitely, um, it's obviously gonna have better bokeh. Just have so much more depth of field because of that sensor. Man, it is full frame, so you see a little bit more. But we try to like frame it the same way and same look. But yeah, obviously this is gonna have more bokeh. Oh man, can't wait to see what you guys think. But holy crap, the JH5 looks pretty darn good. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the second one, which is my wife's. Let's turn on the GH5. Look at that bokeh, man. That Canon 135mm f2.0 is just a freaking beast, you know? That is a monster of a lens. See a little bit of vignette here on a GH5. Even with the lens correction, or I don't think I did the lens correction on these. No, there's no lens correction on these, only for the, for the guy ones. So here's the 6D. Yeah, a lot more. It's a lot more creamier bokeh there. Man. Wow. Okay, so this is the GH5 and this is the 60. Holy crap. All right. Um that was just a quick test. I don't know. I feel like I need to I need to do more tests on this cuz it's I don't think the GH5 is doing that bad, you know. Um let me know if you guys have any questions. Um and thanks for watching.